Hello and welcome to UView. I'm your host, Megan Nunnally, and today I am here with Rachel. Rachel, we're going to start off with a little game called Last Word. So cool. basically we have the subject cards here and 20 seconds on the timer, okay. and those are categories, and we're going to say words that go with those categories. Okay. And then whoever has the last word wins the round. Okay. So we're going to start off with things in the sky. Okay. So you could start. Okay, clouds. Um, hot air balloons. Planes. Uh, helicopters. Birds. Butterflies. Um, <laughs> um. All right, so I got that round. Okay. You ready cool. for a redemption round? Yes. And things you sit on. Start. Chairs. Um, tables. Rocks. Um, the ground. The sand. Carpet. Surfboards. Towels. Um, steps. Boats. Stairs. Uh, bicycles. Um, rock. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, Good we're going to do another job. round. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yes. Things people shout. Okay. Songs. Code blue. Um, SOS. <laughs> Help. Um, cries. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, things people shout. Okay. <laughs> All right, you got that one. So it's two, one. Things that are cold. Coffee. Uh, ice cream. Uh, frozen yogurt. Ice. <laughs> Water. Um, the ocean. Um, Antarctica. <laughs> Ices. <laughs> um. <Okay. laughs> All right. One more round. Okay. Cereals. Fruit Loops. Um, Cheerios. Cocoa Puffs. Mm -hmm. Captain Crunch. <laughs> um, Raisin Bran. Uh, oatmeal Squares. Um, uh, Reese's Puffs. Um, okay. <laughs> and that's the end of that. She okay. looks like Rachel won that game. Cool. <laughs> we will be right back after this to hear a little bit about um, Rachel and her 2020. Awesome. Welcome back, UView. I'm here with Rachel. And first, why don't you just introduce yourself to the audience and tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay. Um, my name is Rachel Gamfu. I am a sophomore nursing major here at Walla Walla. That's cool. So you are a nursing major. Yes. And um, I'm just going to ask you a little bit about, like, what was it like going from being on campus to going online all of a sudden whenever the COVID pandemic broke out? So I was still taking my prerequisites and my generals my freshman year. And for a and we actually had to go online for lab, which was kind of difficult because lab obviously requires you to be in person. Um, but it was hard just in general to have your classes online and not have that accessibility to a teacher, yeah. it's very hard. Um, I definitely struggled with school, but I mean, we got through it, so that's that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. I was actually in a and P in high school whenever COVID hit, and that mm. was right before we were before we were supposed to start doing dissections in labs. And then this year, I'm in a and P in college, <laughs> and I'm also still not doing labs. So it's like, yeah. when am I ever going to be able to dissect something? <laughs> but um, so after school was done and you got through online school, um, what did you do like during quarantine to like keep yourself busy? Mm. And like, did you pick up any new hobbies or get to be able to spend more time on hobbies that you weren't able to before? Yeah. Um, actually, I feel like 
my summer and my quarantine experience was kind of incredible. Um, I have been surfing for on and off for about like four or five years now, but this whole summer I would go at least like two to three times a week and that was kind of like a family bonding type of thing. My cousins would come out and they started surfing as well. So, I mean, whenever we were just stressed or wanted to get out and escape, like we would just take our boards and go surfing and it was just a fun time. So now I'm like hooked on it and I just can't wait to go home and surf again. <laughs> so, That's yeah. awesome. So when did you first start surfing? Um, I started surfing with my church actually back at home. Um, they were offering some lessons because there are some surfer dads at my church. Okay. So um, we have this thing called a Pathfinder Club and um, we decided to take a bunch of people out to the beach about four to five years ago, probably around my freshman year of high school. So that's kind of what started that. And a couple of my friends have also been surfing for a long time. So they would invite me and we would all go. And yeah, it was a fun time. That's really cool. Yeah. I've always wanted to be able to surf. I yeah. did get to take one surfing class when I was in Hawaii. Awesome. Um, I was on vacation, but I think I got up maybe twice. Okay. <laughs> but um, it's really fun. And yeah. I can tell you, I after watching Soul Surfer, have you uh, ever watched that movie? I have not. I, and I need to. <laughs> I was freaked out about surfing because oh of that goodness. because yeah. um uh, but do you know the story from soul surfer i yes i know that she <laughs> was bit by a shark <laughs> yeah oh, it's yeah. insane so have you had any like scary experiences um out in the ocean not really but i have surfed with a seal a couple feet away from me so that wow. was kind of terrifying um but we didn't we never touched so okay it's okay and then i saw a couple of sea turtles out there so that was it was really cool to see are seals dangerous i have no idea but <laughs> it was <laughs> I'm massive sure they're huge. <laughs> yes no yeah yeah i've I, i've when i've been um snorkeling mm -hmm. um i did a lot of like stuff when i was in hawaii including like snorkeling i tried surfing you know and I remember like seeing sea turtles and they freak oh. you out when you just yeah. like turn around. It's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh. No, yeah, um, that's really cool. Yeah. So, um, so you're talking about how you are surfing all the time and I f haven't asked you where you're from yet. Okay, I'm from Southern California. Okay. Um, I live in Dana Point and I'm not sure if any of you know where Laguna Beach is, but it's probably a couple minutes away from there. Okay, so, yeah. so um, you literally can just walk to the beach or is it a little further than that? Yeah, I can. You can literally walk <laughs> yeah. to the beach. That's insane. Yeah. No, I live in Texas. Oh, awesome. And um, the only beach that I've really been to is Galveston, okay. which is nasty, okay. and, like brown. <laughs> oh, so <no. laughs> I'm sure you have a beautiful beach. Um, so coming back, to, um, I'm sure it was very sad having to leave your beach yeah. <laughs> and being able to surf every day, but coming, were you like relieved to be able to come back to campus? Yeah, I think um, obviously being here just makes me miss home more, but I think um, coming to Walla Walla has allowed me to step out of my comfort zone a little more. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's definitely a new environment, but I'm adapting, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, for sure. And I was just ready to come back on campus and see my friends and um, be in school. Yeah, for <laughs> in sure. In person, so yeah. So have you been doing clinicals this year? Yes, I have been. Okay, so um, how has that been like different compared to what it was before? Like yeah. some difficulties that have come from like the COVID and social distancing? Yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, our lectures are online, okay. but that, I feel like lectures being online is not allowing us to get to know our cohort and yeah. um, everyone in the nursing program. I probably only know half the people in the nursing program, um, so that's very sad, but our open labs, so it's where we can go in and practice our skills. Um, 
we're only limited to having an open lab once a week for 45 minutes. Okay. So it's definitely been a challenge to practice our skills in the testing setting um, where we get tested at the end of the quarter. There's a skills test that we okay. need to, to pass in order yeah. to move on. So um, it's definitely been a struggle um, just with that whole situation, mm -hmm. um, not being able to be present and active and practicing our nursing skills um, yeah. yeah that's been very I'm tough. sure well yeah. thank you for coming and joining us thank today you. it was really nice to get to know you yeah. and um, to our UVU audience come back right after this for a game of are you smarter than a fifth grader oh, awesome <laughs> welcome to are you smarter than a fifth grader today we are going to be seeing if Connor and Jack are actually smarter than a fifth grader so, our first question is for Connor. What is one me? The most important article in a newspaper is usually found above the... Heading? Wait, no, that's, that, there is a heading in it, but it's not. This is, I did not learn this in fifth grade. I should win. Jack, help me. Jack, no. do you know the answer to this question? Do you? Uh, what's the question? Um, the most important article in a newspaper is usually found above the... Bottom part of the newspaper? <laughs> the answer is fold. What? I was pretty close. Most, most newspapers I read, I don't fold, so... I don't read newspapers. Yeah, so. I don't either. Yeah. Who reads newspapers? Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> next question. <laughs> what is the right? yeah. minimum age for a U.S. president? Ooh! I know this one. Is it 35? 35 would be correct. Damn. I knew Let's it. Let's go. I knew it. I knew okay. politics would serve me well one day. <laughs> Congratulations. Jack. Mary has to walk one mile north to school and one mile south back from school. One day, instead of walking home after school, Mary walks two miles east and one mile south to the store. In which direction does Mary have to walk to get home from the store? I'm going to be honest. I don't know, but Mary needs to get a car. Wait, do I have to answer this? Wait, so... Mary's in fifth grade. Wait, I know, and... Oh, wait, she oh, can't get a true. car. Silly me. No, <laughs> you gotta wait till at least sixth grade. Yeah, wait, so she walked... One mile north. Wait, she, did she start at her house and then walked south and then east? She started at school. Mary walks two miles <laughs> east and one mile south to the store. One mile east and one mile... In Wait. which direction does Mary have to walk to get home from the store? Come on. It's a 25% chance that you I get the don't question know. right. West. West is correct. Y yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> what? Okay. What? They have struggled a little bit, but they managed to get at College least kids. You know us. two thirds of the questions right. I was born a struggler. <laughs> we'll see you back next time on YouTube. <laughs>